Welcome folks, I am Jabby Kuei joined by Achara Kirk. We're gonna look at the new Ant-Man and the Wasp official trailer. It just dropped about 20 minutes ago. I am super excited for this. We need something positive after the, uh, well, I'm not gonna say what had a dark ending. Spoiler alert. So, um, yeah, that wasn't very slick, was it? He was missing in Avengers Infinity War and so, um, I'm... I, I, I miss him, and I want to see him, so here we go, let's let's check out what he's been up to. So, how long have you been Ant-Man again? Okay. That just sort of happened. <laughs> I wish I could fight bad guys like you! <laughs> <laughs> and I seem to mess it up almost every time. <laughs> Maybe you just need someone watching your back. Hi. Oh, cool. That was like really cool. That was super cool. I actually heard what happened to you. You opened up the quantum realm. That's when his crazy could be ghost who like walks through walls and stuff. Stole your tech. And now she wants to take over the world or whatever. Oh. Who would believe that in your hour of need, you would turn to us? Not me. Because we robbed you. Do you remember? That's us. <laughs> the only chance you got is both of you. And man and the wasp teaming up. Follow my lead. Ooh. She seems more intense. Oh. <laughs> you go low, I'll go high. I have wings. Why would I go low? Oh. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, the... <laughs> oh wow. We're gonna die. I don't wanna die. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what I miss? We were just tiny. <laughs> That's so cool. I was partners with Hank on a project called Goliath. How big did you get? My record? Twenty-one feet. You? Sixty-five feet. Sixty-five. <laughs> if you two are finished comparing sizes. 65. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, that was delightful. That's exactly the snack I needed after Infinity War. I really appreciate that the baddie is a lady, right? Yeah, She's I, a lady. Yeah, I, I've known that for a couple of days oh, now. You have? I, oh, you I, I looked up a little bit of Ant-Man just, just in terms of being a, a spectacle. That is such a cool trailer. Yeah. Like, all the effects that they added in there, like, even the simple things, like when she threw the salt shaker and it blocked the doorway, yeah. I'm like, I wouldn't have, like, you don't th naturally think of these things. Like, I, I, it's just fun. Like, it was very, very creative. Yeah, I think that's going to be an awesome scene in the kitchen in there like so much was going on one of my favorite parts from the previous trailer was when she was running along the edge of the knife so I'm looking forward to that scene like crazy it's funny you should say that I'm really glad that they didn't include that in this trailer yes what me they too. what they did here was they managed to give us all new stuff for the mm -hmm. most part like obviously we went to that kitchen scene before but everything you saw was essentially different from a previous trailer yeah and it still feels like there's so much more in the movie that, like, they haven't spoiled it. Yeah. You know, there's, like, obviously some cool jokes that they showed us in here, but they haven't spoiled the film. Really good job on the part of the marketing department. Like, yes. I just want to say that. Oh, gosh. Like, I'm, I'm stupid excited. I like that we get to see Michael Pena again yeah. as well. I really liked him in the first movie, so yay! Michael Pena's back. That opening sequence was almost like something out of The Raid. Raid 2, specifically. There is a sequence, you haven't seen The Raid 2, yeah. but there's a sequence in Raid 2 where uh, Iko Owais. Yes. It's a Iko Owais. He's fighting a bunch of dudes in a car, and like the car's going for some reason, they won't stop, and he keeps fighting every, all of them. It felt kind of like that, but with like, you know, visual effects going through the car yeah. and whatnot. I'm like, this is so cool. I haven't seen that before. That was really nicely done. I got a little bit grossed out by the ant playing the drums. <laughs> I gotta say. That was, I know, that was a surprise. There's a scene in the first movie where Ant-Man is fighting the main villain uh -huh. and it cuts back and you see they're on a train set and it's just, 
it kind of just dwarfs the action in a very comedic way. Yeah. I feel like they've done such a good job of upping the ante already, where they shrink down the van and it's driving between the bricks and whatnot. Uh -huh. and, I mean, in the previous trailer, you saw the Hello Kitty thing. I love that. They're really playing with this idea of shrinking and expanding things mm -hmm. and expanding it further and bringing it back down. I love how they're playing with those ideas. They got really creative here. Yes. That much is clear. And that makes me really happy. It's not just kind of rehashing the same old, it's exploring new ideas with that technology. Obviously it makes the fight scenes much more interesting because it's not something that we really get to see. This is especially refreshing after seeing the reveal of Adam in the Injustice video game. They did such a good job of showcasing him in, in the game and I'm like, Ant-Man needs to step up his game. And he certainly has here. Even if it is with the assistance of the Wasp, this film has certainly stepped up its game and like the way they're using the, the size displacement or the size, what do you call it? The size variations and- Disparity. Oh, so using the size disparity and the way they're using that is just so creative, it's so cool, and yeah. it's so delightful. I really like the pairing of uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp, like Paul Rudd and Evangeline Lilly. They seem to play off each other really well. That kind of like straight woman, and then the comedic guy. I like it. In addition to the spectacle of the film, like you said, they're doing a good job with creating this interesting dynamic between Ant-Man and the Wasp with the actors that are playing them, mm -hmm. and they haven't forgotten about his relationship with his daughter. That's the emotional basis of the film, and that's obviously what informs everything that Ant-Man does. I like that they're including that in here. One of the great things that Marvel did in Avengers that they've been doing is that they make sure to include heart yes. in their films. Like, that's one of the great things about Guardians of the Galaxy, mm -hmm. at least the first one. Huh? And and Black Panther, like there's a lot of heart in those movies. And I think that you're definitely getting that here by starting it off with showing the relationship with his daughter. Obviously that's carried over from the first one, but I think that's important. I, yeah. I, I really like that. All positive feelings here. Yeah. I'm very excited for this film. I really, really want to watch it. And I want to know what you guys think. Please let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, and short films. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Achara Cook. Peace out.